Hi, so today I started off with yoga and then it sort of turned into foraging. That's an almond tree. And on the opposite side of the road, that's an almond tree. And guess what's in here? <laughs> Let me show you. It is a lot, a lot of almonds. So I've had a really, really good time. Just between two trees, got a whole bunch of, look at that. It's amazing. Although I should say um, I had a really good head start because when I was at Brenda's for yoga, she actually gave me probably half of this bag full of almonds. So <laughs> I cheated a little bit, but I'm going to forage almonds on the way back home. And I think I'm going to get quite a bit more. So walking through the village is always so much fun. <laughs> There's a bunch of slow berries here. And even though those are pretty good, um, I'm actually probably not going to... Look at that. It's a beautiful color. Um, I'm probably not going to pick them this year. Uh, maybe next year. This year I'm just going to focus on walnuts, almonds, and whatever else comes up. So this is what an almond on a tree looks like. It... There's another one. <laughs> so many leaves in the way pretty great so it's really fun foraging them uh, the leaves uh, kind of look like this uh, almond leaves and here's the almonds so <laughs> yeah foraging almonds this is really fun I'm in the middle of the village nobody else is picking them it's quite bizarre that nobody's picking them but you can just see this tree is full of almonds so yeah I don't understand why nobody's picking them. It's quite strange. They're obviously ready. I'm at the next almond tree. <laughs> so many of them. It's really fun. Look at all these little almonds. <laughs> there, that is just, wow. So, so, so many almonds. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, right in the middle of the village. Amazing. So here I am in the middle of Almond Forest. Wow, they look so great. Um, but also I need to be careful because I don't know what this is, but it looks like thin cement stood up, right? So I wouldn't want to slip in my foot gear. <laughs> also, there's a very deep hole. I don't know if you can see, but it's rather deep. And there's another one over there. So foraging, dangerous foraging in the middle of the village. Don't know what this could possibly have been, but it's a very, very deep chamber that extends underneath this area here. Hmm. So here's the almonds. Don't know why it doesn't focus so easily. There we go. Almonds, all of the almonds, and behind there is another massive tree over there, some more over there, all of the almonds, so, so, so many, and here's the ditch. So yeah, definitely need to be careful foraging here, but I can reach these over here, but I think after that I'm probably going to call it. This is a lot of almonds I've got here. I had to pick some of them with shells. So yeah, this has been really fun. I don't think I even scratched the surface. Not even a little bit. There's just so many. Wow. This is an almond tree. It's growing on a stone wall. On the edge of a stone wall. I don't know if you can tell, but it's growing right on the edge of the stone wall. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, there's a couple of almonds up there, but... Uh, I'd ha I might have to go around. Unfortunately, no access. This is full of brambles. So those almonds are for the birds, for the insects. Um, unless somebody else can get there. But I think that's probably one I'm gonna miss. So I found another almond tree. <laughs> and here's another one. <laughs> 
it's really incredible. I didn't realize how many almond trees are actually around the village until you kind of spot the almonds, right? I don't know if you can actually tell how many almonds there are. It's quite a few, even though these trees are pretty small. Ah, almonds, pretty great. I finished foraging. <laughs> this is a lot. Now, they're not all going to be good. Some of them are just dry. Um, but here is my working space. This is the trash bin. There are some that look okay in there, but they're actually quite dry. Actually, this one does look kind of okay. Maybe, maybe that one's okay. Hmm. Actually, maybe some of no. That, see, this one's infested with spiders. That's why I threw it out. Okay. <laughs> so some of them have spider webs. Um, but about one in five is good. It's worth it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna crack all of these walnuts. Um, is it therapeutic? I don't know, but I'll find out. And then, of course, I have these to go. So many. So, so, so many. And this is just from a little walk through the village. I didn't take any detours, just a straight walk from uh, Brinda's house to mine. And this is what happened. Wow. <laughs> it's a lot to go through. I might be set for a while on walnuts and almonds. <sighs> yeah, that's amazing. Oh yeah, these um, walnuts are just from my trees. I've got two trees. One of them overhangs the neighbor, so I don't really get much of that tree, but the other tree I get all of the walnuts and it's a lot. It's more than I can actually collect. Um, I filled this bucket and there were still more left, so I'll probably go back soon once I've cracked all these nuts. <laughs> also, update on the watermelon I got at Grand Janet. It's very good. It is very, very good. So I can definitely recommend it, even though it's not summer, it's not in season, but it's excellent. This one I'm about to try. Today I am setting up the wood burner. I've got my kindling ready. I found a mirror, so I just kind of brought the mirror in. It's not the best looking mirror. <laughs> it looks really old, but yeah, kind of rustic, so it's okay. Those are my socks down there. These are my winter socks. Very nice and woolly. They are awesome. Everybody needs woolly winter socks like this. Um, anyway, so mirror. I just kind of randomly put it here. Uh, kindling, very important. And look at this. A massive box ready for some chopped wood. It's. I think this looks really perfect. I put a little metal piece underneath. Um, I don't really know why. <laughs> it's going to be messy anyway. That metal piece is not going to catch any dust or anything. But anyway, it's there. I had it. Why not, right? And then, of course, the pechka is ready. I think fire bricks are totally fine as they are. They cover as much as can. So, yeah, I'm not going to mess with it. I'm going to leave that as it is. Quite happy with it. And... Yeah, ready to put some kindling and then some chopped wood, which I'm going to get in now. And then on those chilly mornings when it's not too cold, I'm probably just going to use this little heater and not bother starting a massive fire. Cool. So setting up the chopped woods, that is the first thing to do today. And then afterwards, I'm going to chop some walnuts. You can see I started. I've got a couple going already. I'm going to keep them in Ziploc bags or probably jars. I've got a lot of jars, so probably jars actually. And here are the almonds. Yeah, so I've got a lot to do today. I'm going to get some more walnuts too, just to get them all in the one place and then I can just get cracking. That looks really dusty. I've moved the carpet because I'm going to bring in the chopped wood over here and then the chopped wood from here goes in here. It's a two-step process because I don't have any, I don't have any steps here yet. See, it's still a cliff. So I know, I know. It's a, it's a work in progress. It's okay though. It's okay. We'll manage. We'll manage just fine. 
Excellent news. Step one accomplished. Step two coming up. Step one looks really good, doesn't it? Look, <laughs> a lovely little stack of chopped wood and a cat. Yay. Cat. She's checking what I'm doing. So I've moved this pile into there. And look how big this crate is. Isn't that incredible? Like this entire stack of wood <laughs> didn't even fill the crate. Look at that. Amazing. Smudgy is surprised too. She's like, okay, let's go. Let's get the next bit. Oh, there's Bailey. Hey, Bailey. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna fill up this box. Cool. So this is now the wood room, apparently. Um, we've got some beautiful kindling all along here. Newspaper, of course. And then here we have the chopped wood. <laughs> Started off in separate crates, sort of worked its way together into a beautiful mound. Uh, there's a couple extra pieces over there. Yeah, I think this looks pretty nice. It's a good start for winter. And I plan to just put a couple of these pieces in there and then carry it all the way through to the winter studio through that beautiful tapestry. Yeah, and that's the plan. Looking good. So this lemongrass is looking really, really good. I'm gonna harvest it soon. It's got one got three stalks, four stalks. The rest are just leaves. Um, I think I'll still be able to use the leaves, of course, but I'll have to research how. Um, I'm going to harvest this soon, before winter, before frost, and then I'm going to cover this area with straw and hopefully it'll survive the winter. How beautiful is this? Still waiting for it to change colour. <laughs> I think it's supposed to change colour, I'm not sure. Beautiful roses. They smell amazing. And look at this. <laughs> the first Cosmos. Let's see. Look. The first Cosmos that is a dark pink. There's lots of buds coming up. It's a very, very late bloomer. <laughs> but it looks like it's going to be a lovely show of color. Look at so many buds. It looks like at least 20 or 30. Amazing. Yeah. And of course it had to grow onto the path. Cosmos, what a wild flower. What a rebel. I think I really need to get some more Dahlia next year. These things are just unbeatable. Wow. Just mesmerizing. And they're just lasting forever and ever and ever. Oh, wow. Yeah, really incredible. I tried growing them in the UK and the slugs just demolished them, absolutely decimated them. Ate right through the stems. <laughs> but here they seem to be thriving. Slugs, not so much. There are a couple. I have seen slugs, but clearly this flower is just uh, slug resistant. Great. <laughs> 